24th episode of the Extreme Show with your Shirley Jack and Mazzetti. Now before we get around with the show, uh, first off, moving the show for only one night uh, to Fridays, well, there were, there were a few issues and stuff like that, but don't worry, the 25th episode will be on time and it will be on next Thursday. And second of all, uh, the title of tonight's episode is Extremely, uh, I mean, the extreme journey or extreme journey. Uh, it's basically about my journey, and it is well. Remember when I started the show on the, on the very first episode? Well, I told you it was inspired by Justin Bieber, and now I am on the journey on making my way to the mountain of success. Success, yeah top of success or something like that a lot yeah they use that word in something and I don't remember well anyways I'm reaching my destination and when I do so you will be the first people or um, yeah I'm bad at this uh, the first guys to know about it now with the Fire Night movie hunt and the movies that will be uh, talked about here uh, are going, uh, that's all I said. Anyway, it anyway, will be released tonight, Friday, July the 9th. Uh, first off, we've got Disciple Me or Disciple Me. I don't know how to read it. Well, anyway, starring Steve Carroll and Jason Segal. Let's check out the channel and we'll be right back on your Chulis show, Jack and Lazidi. And now I guess I said it. Damn it, I did it again. It's the Extreme Show. Okay, we'll see you right after this trailer. Welcome back. Now with our second movie of the night, entitled Predator, starring Adrian Broad and Topher Grace. Let's check out the trail and we'll be right back on your show, the extreme show. I got it. Yes, I got it this time. Welcome back. Now the movies that you have seen in trailers uh, will be premiering tonight, Friday, July the 9th. Um, Let's go to the weekly wrestling updates and news. But before that, I know that you're still waiting for the Apple iPad Extreme What's On special episode, and it will be on YouTube soon enough. What? Soon enough? Are you kidding me? Okay, let's get in with the. The. Um, you know what I'm talking about. Okay! First of all, let's start with Fire Night Smackdown. This very. Last episode of Friday Night Smackdown, we have witnessed uh, one of the straight edge society going down on his promise to the and his pledge to the SES, and that is Serena went to a bar and enjoyed a couple of beers or more, and CM Punk cut her, caught her, caught her, yeah, caught her doing that, and then. On Friday Night Smackdown, that was the only proof and that the only thing that made Kane leave CM Punk and the rest of the Straight Edge Society uh, to leave them out of his hunt of who made The Undertaker uh, or who got him in a vegetative state. State? Situation? Segment? Segment. Anyways, let's move on. That was a ball about Friday Night Smackdown. Nothing more to report. Uh, let's head to Monday Night Raw. First off, um, were, weren't there like two clues or more about the new anonymous general manager as Stone Cold Steve Austin? Like the first one, uh, that's the bottom line and something like that. And the second one was, um, uh, give me a hell yeah. Well. People have been talking all about it and they have said and agreed on a thing and that is that um, they definitely are making this uh, so transparent, I don't know if that's the correct word to put it in, well they are making it so clear and so obvious that it is Tom Steve Austin but yet again to shock them with another one. And a lot of people are guessing that Abraham Washington, but he hasn't been appearing since ECW got closed and about a few months ago. So, I don't know, is it 100% Stone Cold Steve Austin? But I guess we'll find out when they will 
uh, reveal their anonymous general manager. But Stone Cold Steve Austin as a GM, that could be a good thing, but right again, using another legend could be another bad thing because the last time Bret Hart screwed himself, yeah, I still hate him. Anyways, let's move on. Um, a banker got out. And you're thinking about other bankers? No, I called the money the bank participants, bankers, and the banker who got out was our truth. Uh, thanks to the United States champion, The Miz. And now, at last but not least, Cena's dark side. Have you seen how he manhandled Darren Young? Oh my God! After he heard the news that uh, the new or it's not so new right now. The anonymous GM put him in a seven-on-one -on handicap match for next week's episode of Monday Night Raw. Uh, the seven Nexus will go seven-on-one -on against John Cena himself. As Cena told uh, Wade Barrett that he will take down one, one by one the whole Nexus, but it would not be one-on-one -on -one because seven-on-one is not one-on-one. -on -one. Um, yeah. Okay, so seeing now you're in a big, bad situation, what I'm doing here. Let's move on. So Cena will face the seven nexus this Monday Night Raw, and you will see if he can survive because he's Superman. Anyway, let's move on to NXT. Now, Percy, Percy Watson, yeah. Showtime, Percy Watson. What's his move like that? Oh yeah! Anyway, that's his move and he got a talk show because he competed in the competition. Um, talk the talk or walk the walk, something like that. Yeah, anyways he won it and uh, his topic was about glasses and he talked about the glasses that he was wearing without the lenses and stuff like that. Uh, that was like a slap to my face that he is, uh, I don't know, wearing a glasses of that, that glass. Actually, it's not, it's like... Um, a slap to my face because I wear glasses with the lens. He's, he doesn't do that, so I don't know. Is it a slap to our face? Hmm? Okay, let's move on. That was a bad subject. Bad subject or bad subject? Okay, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. That's a new one. Okay, bad one. Bad, bad grammar. Let's move on. Okay, so you'll see tonight on Friday Night Smackdown exclusively on My Network TV, only in the US origins. Origins. Area. Area is better. What's happening here? Anyway, we've got Jack Swagger one on one with the big show, the largest athlete in the world. And that's the show. Thanks for watching the Extreme Show with yours truly, Jack and Mazidi. I don't know if I suck tonight on tonight's show. Bad grammar, I don't know. Maybe I still have jet lag or airplane lag. Airplane, airplane lag, as Jaden Smith said. And the Karate Kid, why did I bring that subject in? Anyway, let's move on. And thanks again for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And don't miss the 25th episode of The Extreme Show this Thursday exclusively on YouTube because there's uh, no other place to put the show. Okay, see you Thursday.